with with uh, children's ministry, oftentimes it's kind of looked at as uh, the flannel graphs mm -hmm. or remembered as such, you know, and, and kind of base level stories and whatnot. But what what are some of the, the latest and greatest right now, cutting edge, maybe even bleeding edge Ooh, in bleeding children's edge. in children's ministry? Well, I will say first that. Uh, Language is important. If you've got that attitude in your church, in your community, uh, you've got to start changing the language. We made a deliberate choice to make leaders t-shirts mm. that said Hillsong Kids Leaders, not Hillsong Kids Workers, not Sunday School Teachers, not anything else, right. Hillsong Kids Leaders. You make a deliberate change in your language. And that means killing off some words, like the word school. We don't want the word school associated with church whatsoever. That's so good. anything yeah, with school, good. which includes VBS or anything, and you have to be willing to get rid of the language that is holding you back. And that for sure, no, no kid wants a sixth or seventh day of school. Yeah. So uh, fix the language and that will take you a long way to helping people see that this is no longer just all about uh, classrooms and um, flannel graph mm -hmm. and um, other things that are old. <laughs> exactly. um, uh, so, but the, the latest and greatest things, Okay, here's, this is real bleeding edge. Right. I don't even, I haven't yeah, even really even yeah. talked about this before, yeah. but um, there's a real shift in our culture towards gaming. Gaming is everywhere, from Angry Birds on an iPhone sure. through to Call of Duty on your Xbox, right? right, right. Uh, gaming is huge. It makes more money than the movie industry, or the gaming industry. Uh, it's taking over not just as an entertainment, but as a literally as a way of life. Mm -hmm. And there's a lot of a lot of interesting things coming out of that. Uh, so the cutting edge for me is, and this is I'm right. Uh, this is very new for me. So I'm not 100% thought through sure, this because sure, sure. when we're talking about gaming and and if we were to bring it into a church context, it's it, there are a lot of issues that come up with that, and there are dangers like with anything. I mean, there's right. there's a danger when you bring media into, like if you're playing sure. a DVD, you want to make sure there's no swearing in it, right? Sure. Right, right? So there's danger with any technology, but I'm I've got to be aware of them. If you're aware of them, they can't hurt you. Mm -hmm. So. Uh, the real, the next thing I believe that's really going to come out is the, the some kind of aspect of gaming in children's ministry and youth ministry. All right. these young people, um, when we do children's ministry, a lot of the time it's always boys versus girls, sure. or it's um, this team versus this team, and you've got to memorize your memory your, your memory verse because then you'll get a, a point or sure. a Bible buck or a whatever. Bar, yeah. and, and now the reality is we don't really want kids doing something, especially learning scripture. Uh, to get a reward. We want mm. them their reward to be learning scripture. Right. That's that's the real goal here. So there's 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 a lot of questions that run around uh, that idea. But when you're playing a video game, the only person you're trying to beat is in a sense yourself. Mm -hmm. You're trying to better yourself at the game because you know the game is really winnable. Yeah. The game is beatable uh -huh. uh, and all you've got to do is get better at the game and you'll beat it. So competition then comes from instead of competing against other kids in our service wow. or our team in our church it comes against competing against yourself trying to be better right um mm -hmm. which obviously there's a lot of works and there's a lot of issues you know that comes a workspace sure, thing sure. but i honestly believe within church life there's a real space for this culture of gaming mm -hmm. to really help us and not you've got the kingdom culture and god culture but we use the cultural uh we use culture mm -hmm. which is a lot about gaming to steer kids towards Jesus mm -hmm. Christ. Mm -hmm. It's so fresh and new, I've barely even thought it through, but it's, I feel like this, this it's going to come in. Because it's already, all of our kids play right. games, whether it's Angry Birds right. or on an iPhone or on everything, they understand it, they understand the rules of gaming. Right. There's, there's rules behind anything, um, and they really get it as a culture. So that's, that's my next bleeding edge thing. So if you like this video, this channel, Think International, is all about church leadership content. So if you want more videos like this, just hit that subscribe button. If you have any info or feedback, leave it in the comments below and hit the like button and add it to your favorites so you can check it out later. Last, go to our website at thinkintl.tv and we will talk soon. Later.